What's up everybody? I'm back and I'm still Sydney Goodman and in today's Daily Fix, a Nintendo Direct that's too good to be true. Call of Duty brings its battle royale to San Francisco and Ubisoft takes April Fool's Day very seriously. Roll the thing! This is major. A surprise Nintendo Direct announcement confirms every game coming to the Switch this year. It starts with the entire suite of Legend of Zelda games, and I for one cannot wait to see how Ocarina of Time handles on the Switch. But it's not just Link, Tingle, and Ganon. The Direct revealed some truly impressive games being added to the Switch roster, like Portal 2, Super Mario 64, the Metroid Prime Trilogy? Is this real life? Even Red Dead Redemption 2. I wonder how much round the clock labor it took to port that for the Switch. Okay, wait, seriously. Every single game is coming to the Nintendo Switch. I mean, I knew Nintendo was powerful, but can they actually do that? This should be on every screen in Times Square. It should be the only thing on Twitter right now. And okay, I get it. It's an April Fool's joke. Ha ha ha. Should have seen that coming. The prank was coming from inside the house. Wow. Even when we make up the news, we can't even get a Pokemon Snap for it. Meanwhile, in news that's both very cool and very real, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is getting a new blackout map, Alcatraz, the island prison. It's a perfect setting for Battle Royale. It's closed off, remote, and fully equipped for making toilet wine when things get rough. Plus, zombies carried over from previous Call of Duty DLC. The official trailer went live today after the Call of Duty Instagram account posted the coordinates to the real Alcatraz. The new map kicks off a period of free play for Blackout starting with the release tomorrow and running through April 30th. On April Fools, a day where we're constantly looking over our shoulders for the next big betrayal. Again, thank you IGN. This is extremely welcome news. Alcatraz goes live on April 2nd for PlayStation 4 and will come to other platforms at some point in the near future. Thankfully, not everybody is out to get you today. Ubisoft really nailed that sweet spot between full-on pranking and lighthearted jokes with two different April Fool's specific events. The plain map in Rainbow Six Siege currently looks like it was designed using everything in your childhood toy box. The Rainbow is Magic mode will run for seven days with new challenges to unlock Rainbow Alpha Packs, which I can only assume will leave glitter absolutely everywhere. For Honor also got the April 1st treatment in a very limited 24-hour event. Mobs of armored rabbits are swarming the game. The event ends at 9 p.m. tonight if you're on the West Coast, but if you hurry up and get in there, you'll get a melee pack reward for cutting through all those gap-toothed nightmares. And that's Daily Fix for April 1st. I'm Sydney Goodman, and I hope your pranks are as awesome as you are. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out the five weirdest games at PAX East. I'm in the video. Please watch it. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices. Subscribe to the Daily Fix on Snapchat. And for all things everything else, IGN.com.